In this video, we're gonna go over a new add-on created by a developer famous for creating fantastic Blender modeling add-ons. Conform Object is an add-on that handles the complexity of wrapping objects onto another object surface in few actions in a non-destructive way. It has a set of helpful features like a simple right-click menu option that performs the operation on the go, in addition to the ability to graduate the effect from the bottom to the top of the object and the ability to undo and apply options to handle the underlying complexity of adding and removing modifiers. Also the conform of multiple objects at once and having the preset system to save your preferred settings. In addition to that, it has the option to choose between two modes, grid mode and shrink wrap mode. Grid mode is the default mode. It works by creating a hidden grid object that is used to map the surface, and you can unhide the grid and control settings from the left bottom menu parameters. On the other hand, shrink wrap mode is an alternative approach that uses shrink wrap modifier on the surface object to wrap it to a target object. It uses a weighted vertex group to make the wrap effect greater than the bottom of the source object, and you can control its settings until you get your desired result. It also has a feature that allows you to toggle the surface snapping in order to get the object to point directly toward the target object. This automatically configures Blender's snap mode for aligning an object to the surface of another when you move it. But also note that selecting the option again disables the mode. You can also add or remove preset configurations from the tool by pressing the plus or dot keys or resetting the tool to its default parameters. This add-on can be useful and time-saving for 3D artists who need to wrap objects onto others. But you might face some issues down the road. You may face some issues with the add-on like bad deformations that can occur when you don't have enough topology vertices and faces on the source of the target object. Also the top of the object doesn't look the best while the effect is not as strong or when the meshes need more subdivision. Another issue that might be faced using conform object add-on is when the bottom of the source object doesn't point towards the target object. To solve that, you will need to orient the object correctly by orienting it in object mode. Overall, I think this add-on is great and people are finding it to be very useful already, so I highly recommend it. And if you are interested, you can find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, also you can check some of our previous videos, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.